This is a power and flow test for the 1.5 horsepower Black & Decker variable speed pool pump running at 900 RPM, 1500 RPM, and 3000 RPM. It's operating on a 2 inch suction, 2 inch return. The total dynamic head is equal to approximately 30 feet on this system, which does include a 150 square foot cartridge filter. As you can see, we've already got 900 RPM operating on the pump, so let's take a look at the flow rate. 900 is so low, without a flow meter, you wouldn't even know that you're moving any water at all. But as you can see here, we're getting 25 gallons per minute. Which is pretty impressive when you think about the power consumption, top right corner, 55 watts. It's less than a 60 watt light bulb. That's how much power this pump is consuming. Variable speed pumps are absolutely the way of the future for swimming pools. 0.36 amps current draw. So a third of an amp current draw. 1500 RPM. Remember, every swimming pool system is unique. Your pool will have unique values for these RPMs, but this, this gives you a relative bearing, a point for comparison. 39 gallons per minute, 166, 167 watts power consumption, still under an amp, only three quarters of an amp, 0.76 amps current draw. And now 3,000 RPM. Eighty two gallons per minute. One point zero four kilowatts or one thousand forty watts of power consumption. Four point four two amps current draw. We're going to be programming twelve hours of runtime at nine hundred RPM, eight hours of runtime at fifteen hundred RPM, and four hours of runtime at three thousand RPM. Now we have four speed selection slots to work with here, so instead of having 12 hours at 900 RPM, we're going to break that up into two different six hour time slots at 900 RPM. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to press speed one, and speed will start flashing. That indicates that we can change the speed selection that we're going for. So let's go ahead and dial this down to 900 RPM. We press speed one again, and now it's going to go to time. And it's asking us what time of day do we want this program to start? I'm going to start this at six o'clock AM. There we go. Six o'clock AM. Press speed one again. Now it's asking for the duration. What is the duration of this schedule that's going to start at six o'clock AM? As I mentioned, we're going to go with two, two six hour increments running at 900 RPM. So we'll just go ahead and set this for six hours. There we go. So we've now effectively set the first part of our schedule. Let's change to speed two and speed is flashing. So that's great. Let's change that. And we're going to change it down to 1500 RPM. We are going to run an eight hour schedule at 1500 RPM. This is the duration now that we're setting, was 5 hours, 6 hours, 7 hours, and there we go, 8 hours. So that's now 8 hours at 1500 RPM. And then what I want to do is I want to go back and do that other 6 hour increment at 900 RPM. Press it again, now it's asking me for the duration. I want to set six hours as the duration. There we go, and that's it. Now we've effectively programmed speed three, and now that means all we need to do is program in the final speed, which for this schedule is going to be 3000 RPM. There we go. And it's asking us for the duration of time. We want to go with four hours. 
In fact, four hours is the maximum because this is based on a 24-hour schedule, so four hours brings us to 24 hours, and that's why that's the maximum that we can do there. So press speed again, and as you can see, we've now programmed all of these. We are in uh, schedule already, so as we program that, that's real time. Those are already done. All we need to do now, press the start button, and that's it. We initiate the 24-hour the schedule that we just programmed. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.